Hey guys, Wayne here from Tech Made Easy. Today I want to show you how to print from an Android phone. Uh, the process is fairly simple, but there are some things you need to know to um, get it working for you. So the first thing is this. Um, you will need Wi-Fi. Um, you need to be somewhere where you have a Wi-Fi network that you can connect to. The second thing is you will need a Wi-Fi enabled printer. In this video, I'm going to be printing to an Epson printer. It's an Epson uh, WF2760. Any um, uh, WF series Epson printer is great, which is the Workforce series. Uh, Epson also has a line of printers called the Small in One. Um, those are all printers that are very easy to set up. And once they're connected to Wi-Fi, uh, printing to them is going to be pretty easy. So I'll leave a link in the description below of some other printers that are good prices that you'll be able to print to. And uh, let's go ahead and move on and show you exactly what to do. So make sure your phone is connected to Wi-Fi, the same Wi-Fi network as the printer. And then let's say you wanted to print from an email. Someone sends you an important email. You say, hey, I got to print this email out. So we're going to open up our Gmail app and I'm going to tap on this Samsung email, for example, and let's say you want to print out the information in this email here, no problem. So in the upper right corner here, we're going to click on these three dots and we're going to go down to print. Okay. Now, It'll show you right here what it's going to look like when it prints, just so you can make sure this is it meets your expectation. Now you're going to come to the top here, or sorry, really quickly, next to copies, you can tap on this and you can you can make some adjustments. So maybe you want to print more than one, just tap on the one here, and you can uh, print more than one copy. You can also change it from color to black and white. You can do a two-sided print. You can kind of you know, tweak the settings based on how you need it to print. Next, you're going to tap on select a printer, come up here and tap on add printer. Now, um, this is where, again, it's all based on what brand of printer that you have. And so uh, because I'm on a Wi-Fi network, the phone is already recommending which app I need to download because you will need to download an additional app to make this work. Um, the phone is telling me, hey, it recommends that you download this Epson app because that's going to allow the phone to link with that Epson printer. So we're just going to tap on that. Now, if you didn't have a recommendation here, then you would need to tap on all services. Just want to make sure that I cover everyone's bases in case you don't have an Epson. So then you would need to find the brand of printer that you have. So if you had a Canon, for example, you would go to the Canon app. If you had an HP, you'd go to HP. You need to install the correct plugin that will allow your phone to talk to the printer. So let's go back here and I'm going to tap on here. It's already again recommending the correct one for me to download. So I'm just going to download the Epson printer app. All right. So now we're going to hit the back button here. It's going to take us, um, to here, go ahead and just tap on the screen. So we've installed the Epson app and now it's already linked the Epson printer to the phone. So all you're going to do now is just tap on your printer right here. Yours should just come up again right after you install the plugin. We'll tap on there and it will ask you to agree to the print services. And now you'll have this little button that's going to pop up right here. Tap there. Press OK. And that's it. And now our document will begin to print. If you swipe down, it will show you that the print is in progress and it's printing that Gmail. All right. And this is the first page of our email. It just printed out nice and neat, just like that. Now, um, now that you've uh, linked the phone to the printer, I'm going to show you a few other places you will be able to print. So, for example, um, if you are in your gallery, maybe you want to print a picture that you have. Um, so this is something that I downloaded from online. I want to print this. I'm going to just tap in the upper right corner on the three dots. And I have a print option 
So you can print any picture that you have in your phone. I can print a screenshot if I wanted to. Um, whatever. Three dots print. So in your photo app, you can print. You can print from the email. You can also go to Google Chrome as well. I can print a website. Three dots here. Come all the way down. Now you may have to. Um, you may have to share first. Yep. You hit share first, and then you can hit print. And that's how you would print a website. You went to a specific website, and you wanted to print out the whole page. That's how you would do that. So those are a few places that you would print email, a website, and then the gallery app, um, just like that. And now there are other apps you can download that will let you print as well. Um, basically, usually you'll look for that little menu button in the corner, and tapping that will let you know if you are able to. Hope you guys did find this helpful. Make sure you like, favorite, and share if it was helpful. Leave me a comment down below if the video was helpful for you as well. Uh, subscribe and keep watching. We appreciate your views. Thanks again. Have a good day.